The polynomial we saw in the previous video is of the type p of x equal to ax plus b where a does not equal 0. a is the coefficient of x and b is the constant term. Let us try to find the zero of the general form. To find the zero, we ask ourselves the same question. What value of x will give us p of x equal to zero? What value do we use here in place of x to get overall value as zero? Let us find that value. We equate ax plus b to zero to find that value of x. Transposing b to the other side, we get ax equal to minus b and transposing a to the right hand side, we get x equal to minus b by a. This value is the zero of p of x. That is, if we substitute minus b by a in place of x, we will get p of x equal to zero. b is the constant term and a is the coefficient of x. So the zero of this general form equals negative of constant term divided by coefficient of x. Why did we find this out? How does this help us? Let's say p of x equals 4x plus 7. You can either follow this entire procedure of equating this to zero and then finding x or you can use this formula. The constant term is 7 and the coefficient of x is 4. Using this formula, the zero of p of x can be written as negative of constant term, that is minus 7, divided by coefficient of x, which is 4. We got the zero with just one step. All we did is write this as the negative of this term by this term. Let us check our answer. We substitute minus 7 by 4 in place of x and see if we get a 0. So we find p of minus 7 by 4. It will equal 4 multiplied by minus 7 by 4 plus 7. 4 and 4 cancels out and we get minus 7 plus 7 and we get a 0. So minus 7 by 4 is a 0 of the polynomial.